This week in maths, we will be learning about volume and capacity. There are some words that will help us with our maths this week. Have a look at this cup. We can say that it is empty. Now have a look at this cup. We can say that it is full. Let's look at cups A and cup B. Which one has more and which one has less? Cup A has less than cup B. Cup B has more than cup A. Now have a little look at the jug and the cup. Which do you think has the greater capacity, the cup or the jug? The capacity of a container is how much water it can hold. We will use one cup as one unit. So the cup is one unit and the jug is one, two, three units. So the jug has the greatest capacity. What is the capacity of the water bottle? The capacity of the water bottle is around two units. What is the capacity of the goldfish bowl? Let's count. The capacity of the goldfish bowl is around five units. We will be describing volume using half and quarter. Now let's look at these containers. This small container and the big container. The small container we can see fills half of the large container. So the capacity of the small container is half the capacity of the big container. Now let's look at the beakers and the fish tank. It takes two beakers to fill the fish tank. So the capacity of one beaker is half of the capacity of the fish tank. It takes four cups to fill one bowl. So the capacity of one cup is a quarter of the capacity of the bowl. Let's try these ones. The capacity of one beaker is something of the capacity of the plastic bottle. What do you think it is? Well done. It is half. So the capacity of one beaker is half of the capacity of the plastic bottle. And let's try this one. The capacity of one cup is something of the capacity of the milk bottle. What do you think it is? Well done. The capacity of one cup is a quarter of the capacity of the milk bottle. Happy learning!